Let's see what the hell is going on here. Witcher. Witcher. Found your message on the notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison had left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. The tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planters shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Let's see. <clears throat> no point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad or possibly worse will come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil, there is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. Must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate? For their lives? A burden we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wisely. We know neither this land, nor its peoples, nor its customs. And we have come with another duty altogether. <sighs> ah. How I long to return to Tucson, where all is simpler. Soon, my friend, soon. First, let us convey our missive to Geralt in the manner tradition ordains. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition, is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. For us never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Nah, fuck that. I'm just kidding. Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, Bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I <laughs> might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. All right, well, what's going on with the beast? Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast <clears throat> cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, 
Both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knights Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mm. Is that right? Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. And the feast goers none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house. Guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Hmm. I'm sauce on it, but I'll take it. Uh. I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from Sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... <sighs> demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go. Soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint! To Toussaint! Toussaint. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Who? <clears throat> find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron! What the fuck? Oh, get him! Blood and wine. For my lady, He's gotta be an ogroid. He's gotta be.
Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, <coughs> out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and mm, vanished The Lady of the Lake, days. huh? So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. Geralt. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Let's go. Giddy up. Brave kid, Guillaume. Farmerin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. And button why you can do additional witcher mutations. Investigate the story of Professor Moreau. Switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. <laughs> no one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around, make sure they didn't miss anything. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the statue's fierce. Got guests. Careful. <laughs> Oh. 
is like a cross between a drowner, a fucking algal. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. And a devourer. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. Look at the rut. The guardsmen left this site by boat, recently. Probably to transport the body somewhere. Jumped the king down the river. You must keep searching. <laughs> DLC. That's course. funny. They've they've got a bunch of these little like blurbs and the stuff. That there's a file in Karamoran that that's signed by C D P R. Pretty funny. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat, and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes, standing by his companions, no matter the odds, fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did, but I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt, you've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. Alright, well, let's head up the inn. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarieta. each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmer's presence, however. Even such familiarity offensive. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boaters. But you will find no better crayfish chow. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? 
Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke mm -hmm. at the crack of dawn, as I do each day. But when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? I'm Geralt. Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. You said that already. Ask him, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? <laughs> but be warned. I hear the sky was red again. I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rossell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Some sorceress, that? I think. Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Ninis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's nights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own touches. Why, you insolent... Let him talk. The duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Retribution, Don't huh? To that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? 
The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. All right, we gotta go check out the body. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the Yeah, blood and one. Not coming with? Oh, yeah. Duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <clears throat> uh, her grace bestowed a great honor on you, even before we departed for Venice. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. Well, come close. I'd rather have that chowder. Wow! Get out of Riffia! In keep here. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine, you know nothing. Up for some Gwent. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a nordling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Mm, okay. Show me what you got in stock. Damn, this dude's got some Gwent cards. Oh, shit. Foglet. Earth Elemental. You want to build a monster's deck? You've come to the right fucking place. Good lord. Dude's got mad Gwent cards, my dude. What's in the world? Ah! Convert them to diamonds? I don't care. I've I have so much diamond shit. I don't even. It's not even gonna matter. New quest from Blood and Wine are marked with the icon. Okay. 
quests. Damn! There is a lot. A lot of side quests. the scenery sounds like a fight have to hurry come on roach damn it Goat must still be here in the cellar gotta be happened to old geared uh he survived you saw you at the end why'd you kill these people clearly wasn't for their blood Pretty sure we do. Killed a bunch of people. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. A Brexa, huh? I had the option to finish her off, but it didn't let me use it. She got up too fast, I think. God. 
There we go. Got all these men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? Putting the hand in his pocket, okay. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer in to get me in to see the Duchess. Sure. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that, my guy. So, are there any... Let me see. Do I have any markers yet? Just for the inn. Hmm. Okay. Well. Grab roach. about that before I went in.
just gonna go to the Duchess now, I think. Urgently. All right, you scamps. Story is done. Go find your friends. But the Pomerin. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tale for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his father master hand witcher. to the feet of the giant Goliath. Master witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Pomeran's story. Think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. The rogue? Well, he can only count on other rogues. And who would you rather have for a friend? A man of virtue? I must agree. Now, that will do for questions. Go find your parents. Yes, go find your parents. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. Who's fighting? Elf guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. We'll soon see. Someone's gonna fight a shale mar. Put some bells on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? The beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. I saw a spectacle of the sword of Yorina and Nunez. There, a knight came to the Shelmar with bells on its tail. Might have gotten lucky. Shelmar might have been lame. Who knows? Only a witcher has a real chance against a healthy Shelmar. And that's not even every witcher. Besides which, releasing a monster that dangerous in front of a crowd, playing irresponsible. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Yeah, it sounds stupid if you ask me. Let's go. Let's go see the Duchess. This dude's gonna get fucking. I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Yeah, me too.
Yeah, I figured this is gonna happen. Get him. The Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the wittering trade. Behold, as the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed! It suffered enough. The monster lies slain! The fight is done! Praised be the victors! That came down to close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. The Duchess. Geralt. We must talk. Vivian. You shall talk later. In the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your Grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival, had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly. That entrance, so spectacular. Your Grace, Shale Mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises. But in return, gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. He didn't slay it. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? 
Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained, and as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Yes, it is true. Your grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whoever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we <laughs> justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Your Grace, Witcher. Witcher, greetings. Sorry to have to tell you. But the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A Bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also, like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it, Sir De La Tour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it, nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Are the legends true? Do witchers usually demand that which you find at home, yet did not expect? Not always. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco, and the sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours Yo, only am I once getting some property, dude? Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. <sighs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it now? The Chancellery has bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. How'd it start? 
Who was the first victim? Crespi was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to winemaking. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly, but the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned... Cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon Dulac. A knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places, under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your Grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Wisdom, by ridicule. 
generosity by a coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's think. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren. Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed a knightly team. It was years ago, but... The... They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game, at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses! Your Grace! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> what the hell? Why I should Your Highness, I Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. <laughs> hey! That is silk! Be careful! Give it to me! Uh-oh. <laughs> you like her. <laughs> she got serious real fast. where the head, Milton, hides. You mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. But I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quickest. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? 
The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Turns around over there. Look. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other phoenix encounters. All clear? Then let's get to it. With no time to lose. We gotta hurry up. If I were to call a state courageous or coward, oh. what other part of the state? Nah, let's play Gwent. Yeah, Perhaps exactly. Perhaps some apple will work. Or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try the sweets. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Axie, bro, you know better. Come on, stay calm. Shh, calm down. Easy now. Easy. Flagrant cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. Listen, I didn't break any rules. True. He won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. Yep. Gardens are huge. You better off on horseback. Yeah, Axie is fucking broken. Yo, delusion level three, man. It's fucking worth, man. Oh, my. Ah! Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. What the blazes? Did someone just die? Candy. Hey, wait. Stop. It's important. Hey, wait. Stop it, guys. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course doth trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace <coughs> when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> A key. Why, you bombard stretch? <laughs> He's ruined the game. Disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, we are really ruining the uh, festival experience here with this quest, aren't we? Necessity, or shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. I have another. Show me yours. Who wrote this driver? I begin like a crone. Hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. I begin like a groan. Then end like a mouse. I don't know. Too cryptic, this riddle. Got no idea what it's talking about. Then be silent and let me think. Look, if we take Rome, hollow it out and fill it with ease, the letters that is, we get green, then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm, pretty clever, and it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse is there. Let's go. The fuck? Oh, what the butch? Get him! What was that? Some kind of vampire. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I've a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who is dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? Not about me. Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I put one victim left. But you'll not get the chance. I mean, these are obviously vampires of some sort, so. Oh! 
You are to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No. He's my friend. Shit. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... And... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peep for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I'd come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though death laugh is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct. 
his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Any idea? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. <laughs> suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Yeah. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Milton was like at the very beginning of this DLC. He was like one of the guys that brought me here, I think. Rip Milton, who didn't make it in time. We must allow the witch to fly his prey. Died in a bunny mask. Yep. Yeah, true story. Hey there. You are interested. Sir, sir, a letter for you, sir. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. <laughs> Post is paid, so get lost. Here. Yeah. Thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Aww, my girlfriend sent me a letter. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. I lent you coins. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
If you pick Trish, she sends you the letter? Oh, really? Interesting. to recover diagrams. This is Beauclair. Let's see. My god, look at all these fucking quests. Jesus Christ. There's so many quests here. This is ridiculous. My god. some goddamn Gwent. building which which how do I get into the bar how do I get into the bar no I want a drink it's like on the upper level Uh, enjoy enjoy class I remember those days going to class I, I never went to class hardly ever <laughs> nah, I, I went for it what oh I'm just jesting you sir clearly were not born in a barn welcome to the pheasantry the best auberge in all the duchy the duchy mm, what are you serving up today uh, Gwent cards, hopefully. Yeesh. See you later. Play some dog am Gwent. Want... I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. I saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. <laughs> oh. Our tourney is more than mere diversion. We've a mission seat. To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skelligat, a new Gwent faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligat, so heroes of lore, lore, berserkers and beasts, Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Ceris on Crytek, naturally, though not. Clark on Crytek. Also, Hemdal the Heer, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared. Another great passion, 
travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal orb, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to devise the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. Okay. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. Ooh, yo, Chad, I need that trophy, dude. Mm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. I'm not Just rubbing one loins. small a jointer. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards for them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Yes. Good lord. Zero out of 24? My god! It's all dog shit! Welcome to the pheasantry. I know you're busy, but round of Gwent. Round of Gwent. Let's look at this Skellige deck here. Krach on I love it. Krach. Berserker cards. Yalmar. Yes. Krachonkret.
All right, let's see. Really need to build out this deck because I have to I have to get concrete. I gotta get a a deck going, you know. All right, um, I'll throw in a couple scorchers. Dandelion. Yeah, let me, let me swap out Dandelion for now. Why is Hjalmar arranged? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's see, she's running with uh, Aridin. Two and draw one. Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Thank you. 
Wait, where's my Gontaro Dim? I had him in my deck. What the fuck? Ugh. Okay, well... have any whatever decoy that's all you got all right well I guess I'll just win it right here then Welcome to the Fessentry. You know what I didn't realize? See you later. I didn't realize that, like, anybody that has the option of playing Gwent gives you a card when you beat them the first time. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna have to go back to the mainland and do that. That's probably why my frickin' Gwent deck is lacking. And was lacking Snow for the longest now. time. Whoa. I thought I thought some people you just played for money. I didn't realize that they had cards too. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad. Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got to work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Hmm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Okay. Gotta stop by that bank. Gotta stop by that bank. You. You need you. Let's throw down some Gwent. Fifty coin. Up for a round of Gwent? I 
see. God damn it, man. Well, it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> My deck is just fucking trash right now. Figured I would have to figure something out here. Feels bad I don't have a torrential rain. Cards back, very nice. going to have a tough time. <laughs> Regardless of what he has, that's going to be it's going to be rough. Ah, all is in 
Not so fast, Roach. Not so fat. Calm the fuck down, Roach. Welcome, good sir. To the show me what you show me what you got back there. Ooh, exotic paintings. Okay. Gwent, how about it? Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent? Fuck yeah, Gwent. Right? Fucking out. All right, let me see. I got a couple things. Frost for that when the time comes. Gunter Audim. Good lord. Let's take that 33 down to an 8. Garrot of Rivia. Uh oh. Oh boy. I have a plan. I got a plan.
Wow. Well, I win. Got him. Got him. Yo, we're gonna play Gwent all over town, dude. All over town. Gwent. 50. You already know. Fit max bet. 5,000. 5,000. But how about some Gwent, eh? Yeah, fuck those herbs. Let's get some Gwent. I want some dog am Gwent. card for now, I think. Just for now. Just because it's a useful card, I want to keep it. Ooh, the cow? Okay, okay. I do like the cow. Berserker, huh? getting quite interesting for the first round. Passing too, but don't worry. <laughs> I definitely need to pass. No way I'm winning that. But I think I've got a good foundation for winning this still.
Scorch. Oof! Yikes! I'm not even worried about it, dude. I'm not even worried about it, dude. What you got, bud? How cute. I gotcha. Get him. Another murder by the horrid beast. Oh. Just out of here, I wanted to, to check something. A returning cost. Let me let me see what you got. Developing mutation. Exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, let me to give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witch of Geralt to Frivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? What's it about? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Ah, uh, somebody stole the testicles. Of a statue. <laughs> no ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified what? and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. Stroke them. All who buy a ticket. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. You got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Everyone. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. 
Stones were very much in place. Hmm. The stones. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire uh. poorest sector faces trying times. Trying times. Okay. It's I will awesome. try to recover Reginald's testicles for you. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I call this. Yeah. Oh, but why Reginald don't want You shall be happy. to this door. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Sorry to interrupt, I guess. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, uh, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence, a series thereof. What? That's not my husband. You mean, not... not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out! Now, or I'll summon the guards! Calm down, just here to talk. I... Uh... I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <laughs> <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. <laughs> I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin skeleton! What the hell's this? Rosalinta! One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with yeah, this. Yeah, no, this is. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <sighs> got no time for this. Go. Yes, that'll be best. I, I'm done here. I don't know. That would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. 
Give me the give me the testicles. Just give them back. Rosalinda, my dove. Please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it. But they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will three times and count. Three times? No, Carol, don't feed his ego. You really don't want to do that. It's more than the entire last decade. <laughs> All the same, you stole those stones and you got to return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They, they've made me young again. All right, uh, I don't know if we should lend him the testicles. Uh, look, look, all right. I get it. You know, he's probably what, like 60, 70, you know, he wants to perform, right? I mean, can we really blame the guy for being a senior citizen and just trying to perform? But what I have a problem with, <laughs> yeah, he's 69, yeah. Look, <laughs> all right, look. All I'm saying, though, is you can't be stealing stuff, man. And, and, he's, like, nailing this girl that's married, okay? Look, all right. Best I can do is, is, is Wednesdays and Fridays, okay? Perhaps I, I could lend them to you for one more day. What would you say to Look, that? Wednesdays and Fridays. Please, three more months at the least. You for deal, sir. One more day. I'll wait. <laughs> Dark all right, Hughes. I'm back. Shh, shh. Not Wake her. Never go. Oh my Wake God. Who? Rosalinda. Luisa, her cousin. What? She's Dude. She's gracious. He's worse than Dandelion. Appetite, but I tapped out. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh? Is simply spent. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest last time. Here, yeah, you must take the testes and let the elder grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Three times. That's impressive. <laughs> All right, well, we got that done. You recovered <coughs> Reginald's family jewels? I sure yep. have. Got them back. Lepiotis luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Not sure if I'm interested in stroking anything, but, uh... Let me go back to my Gwent mission here, okay?
Greetings and welcomes. Best wines, huh? Best wines. Ooh, this guy's got wine and cheese. Shit. Care for a round of Gwent? Call Yennefer. I, I wish that after you beat the game, you could go find Yennefer somewhere. Because, like, I feel like they don't really end that quest line too well at the end of the game. Like, I feel like there should be, like, a... There should be, like, an end game quest line for your significant other. And there's not. Very disappointing. Wait, I thought I had... Oh, there's another one. Take another Marjoram. Let's begin. Skialig. Alright, let's see. Geralt. Alright, I got one decoy. I need some spy cards, damn it. I don't think Skellige really gets spy cards, though. Feels bad, man. Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Cool. I'll, I'll take a crystal at the expense of uh, one card. I'll give up Geralt for... Like anything particularly good here. I might actually lose this one. Yikes. God, no, no, fuck me, man. I am probably going to lose. I 
gotta see what he's got, right? Oh, thank God I won. Okay. Oh, oh, thank the Lord. We got him. Yeah, that's right. Give me my fucking cash, dude. Give me that fucking cash. The gentleman shall bow to the emperor. The gentleman. Whoa! A witcher! A serious client at last. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals? Gwent. <laughs> Show me what... Change the color of a mutagen. Red to green, red to blue, blue to red. Lesser. Is there a greater? Ah, there is a greater. Okay. I see. I see what's going on here. God damn, there's so many potions of clearance. Good lord. All ability points spent developing mutagens. Wait, you can use ability points to, re to develop mut mutations? Oh, oh, wait, hang on. I don't know what that means. Okay, I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. ever use any of this shit so I'm just gonna sell what I have not all of it but a good chunk of it Dog tallow can sell some of that. Honestly, I just have a lot of ingredients that I'm just not using.
I have plenty of stuff to refill my alchemy items with anyhow, so... Gwent? I'm all in. Let's go. Boom! In the mood for a round of Gwent? Always. Olaf. This is kind of a bland unit card. and berserkers right now either. So, to fill, put Triss back in. Until I actually have a use for berserkers later. Wow, three decoys, good lord. Right, we got the elf. Long ship. I reckon I don't need that many decoys. Okay, that works. Fifty. Let's go. Wait, what's the mushroom do? Ah. Oh! Triggers transformation of all berserk cards in the same row. Good lord, dude. Dude, how do I even contend with that, man? Plus one to all units in the row. Well. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to take the take the L on that one, so.
actually. No, I have an idea. All units in the row excluding itself? Yeah, well, all I gotta do is just put it in one of these and it'll get attack power. And there we go. And I'll get two cards to start. Oh, beautiful. Plus the Skellige ability. No way he's got anything. Clock on clit. Clock on clit. Oh fuck, he's got a spy. No. Oh, thank God. That was close. This last few have been a pretty close call, to be honest. I don't hear it's wine, wine. What's new, mon ami? Chris, how might I age? Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Surman, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights want to the roads, protecting Tucson from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for what is told us. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from peril, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats. Come see me. You shall be rewarded. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Ones you're willing to sell, that is. Aye, sure. Note, junk. Book, junk. Gwent, a history. Probably some bestiary entries if I had to guess. Would be funny if this guy sold Fizz Tech. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, I think.
think I could probably get away with like Things. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Down the road. Well, this leader cancels my leader ability. Okay. So I'll keep that for now. <sighs> See what he plays. that I can do about that, sadly. I'm gonna have to give up this round. somehow. Oh boy, I don't like the look of this. Not one bit. is that I have a spy. A couple extra cards to do me some good. Especially. The strongest card on the battlefield. Well, that one card would get my situation resolved. Pretty fucking dumb. This is rough. These two cards are good, but the problem is if he has anything else, this is screwed. Mm, yeah, that's fucked. That's fucked. I don't think I have anything else. God damn it, man. Greetings, Knight. Oh, I gotta what win back, to dude. I gotta win back. I gotta win back. Pfft. 
literally just drew the same card again. It's fucking dumb. got spies. That he does, that he does. Well, I'll take that spy. <laughs> in case. Take four off the total, or... <coughs> Scorch that. I need to get him to use, like, big cards. Problem is, this isn't going to work. This could be good here. Hold on. Let's see what happens. Got another scorch? Are you kidding me? Dude. And I have nothing left after this, man. I can make some things happen. some cards out try to make the most of what he's using this will work I think I can win this it depends though <laughs> it's really gonna depend all right so it's two on three in the way of cards but I did get a little bit of a bone like a little bit of a bump here I'm just worried that I'm gonna be... Yeah, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. Wait, why does it have double... Why does it have double the... I don't understand. have to do. Okay. 
Gotta say, I'm pretty fucking nervous on what's gonna happen here, but maybe I can win it. Needs 30. Oh, thank God. Thank God. We got him. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the effect was still active. Doesn't, doesn't really make sense to me, but maybe it's a bug. Not sure. Sacre bleu! It's a crime. You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me. There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Sure you are. You got a doublet? <laughs> Alright, um... Gwent! In the mood for a round of Gwent? Always. Always. Clack on crit! Ship, I see. It is. Okay, okay. Sorry, Triss. You're off. You're out. You're out of there, though. pretty good here. I should have traded out the darkness though. It's fine. It's fine. Needed a uh needed a couple things here, but I think this will be fine. Got some ideas. Took it out of my deck, that sucks. That really fucking sucks, god damn it. Well, here we are. Boy back, huh? Okay. Well. I'm gonna have to try to figure something out here. There are a lot of cards here at play. Scorch. 
scorch, goddammit. Well, I guess better to have a scorch now, I, I guess, than later. I need to pull some cards away from this little setup here. Unfortunately. Cool. I got a spy ability came through. first. Need to see what we're dealing with here. Should be okay here. Got him. Let's go. Beat that ass. set of cards here, but... It's a cute little city. Play some Gwent. Step into my parlor, my good sir. What brings you to do so? Tell me. Mm. Let's call it business. Ah, then. A professional journey. Nothing but work, tension, unfamiliar beds. One needs a way to relax at times. Perhaps my ghost could help you. Interested in the unusual. Got a special request. Just need to keep this between you and me. You know well I shouldn't. Hey, who cares? How might I help? Gwent. Gwent. You play? Oh yes. Of course. Let's let's summon throw him. down. I wonder what for. Alright, young berserker. We actually have a couple of those now. We 
Ghetto Dim out of my deck. It's kind of a bad card for what I'm doing right now. deck now. If I lose this round, it's okay. Yikes. Yikes. Couldn't even win the first round. And completely exhausted her hand. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Get fucked. Set aside enough to found my own establishment. I wished it to be not a bawdy house, but a bawdy home. A place where patrons would not simply come, drop their hosts, then flee as soon as the girl rolled over. Here, the sheets do not reek of sweat, the beds have no bed bugs, and the wine is not watered down. It is a place where one longs to linger. To chat, rolled in a comfortable chair, to light a pipe. All after paying a modest fee, of course. Of course. Of course. I've gotta go. See you later. Oh. Sausages! Sausages. Fine. What do you got? Mm, I see. I know you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? 
Oh yeah, he's he's down. He's down. opponent has passed. What is this? Okay, well, you know what? Driving a hard bargain there, Chief. Uh, let's do this. Let's Fucking the bear. Okay, well. I'm curious to see what might happen here. Twenty seven. I have an idea not trying to win this one, so I am going to throw down the medic and I'm going to bring back the cow. back. My Skellige ability actually paid off for once. This is over. I used the wrong ability in the wrong order. I fucked up big time. I think I can save this now. No way now. I fucked up. I completely fucked that up. No, you're busy. His deck's alright, but 
I, I could have won that easily. I just wasn't paying attention. Bringing back the bear, are we? Okay. That's you at 23. Curious to see what happens here. This is a lot better this time, I think. I'm gonna throw down Yennefer and I'm gonna pick up my cow again. <laughs> For the last round, if there is a last round. Which I reckon there will be. Buddy. Ooh. Yikes. Not even enough to turn the tide. Get him. Get him. Yeah, give me that money. Feels like it would have one. Maybe like outside of town? Let's just take a look.
Come on now. Come on now. Maybe on the other side of this bridge, possibly? I don't know why. I just get the feeling that there should be a, a, a marker here, but not seeing one. Time to enter the tournament. I think I can use this fast travel here to get a little closer, a little faster. Yeah. My game crashed. Cool. Very cool. Good. Uh, it's a good time for me to take a break. I'm going to be back in a few minutes here. I think I'm going to get some breakfast since it's about that time. BRB.